I made my nut out of elk antler. <laughs> That's fresh elk antler That's right there. fresh elk antler. None of that PetSmart bone crap. No. We got the real <laughs> deal. The she real went to deal. Wyoming and slaughtered an elk. <laughs> Originally, the idea came... You in, built this, I want to say. Yes. So I just finished Luthier School. I finished this guitar last week. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's brand new. As um, far as I know, this is the only telefiddle out there. My dad and I had seen Junior Brown play with his Git Steel. Ooh. And, you know, I played fiddle and guitar, and we got to talking, and we were like, this would be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And so we took a Strat and an electric fiddle, and we literally screwed the fiddle on top to the strat, and mm -hmm. that was the strata fiddle. That was number one. Okay. A couple years ago, I decided to build a telefiddle, and so that was my first build. But then I got here, and I knew I was going to the luthier school, and I had a couple changes I wanted to make on it. Yeah, I'm not done pimping pimping it out yet. There's definitely. What are you gonna do? What else are you gonna what do? What else am I gonna do? Well, I want to get a paisley pick guard. Oh, yeah. that would be cool. That would be great. Um, I still need to fill in. I screwed the fiddle down with deck screws. Oh, so like, that's not going anywhere. Yeah, that scares me a little bit, but I like to show it off. <laughs> This girl plays telefiddle with her teeth. I came here with two twin reverbs, and you can't use those downtown because they're so big. Like I would have to ram people with my you, on my wheels. That thing would break. It would break, and it would break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forget so, about the people. The amp would be unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't care about no, any of the people. I have a sixty-seven people, blackface. Yeah. Keep and that at home. More to me than anything, when a guitar player says you have great tone. Is so. that the best compliment you it's, can get? Oh my god. <laughs> Is it better than you're beautiful? Yes. If somebody says, "Wow, you're really sexy." Oh, nice. Thanks. But uh, somebody says you, you got great tone, I'd be like. You want to go on a date? There's a quicker way to the guitar player's heart. Just talk about how they sound. People are always like, guys are like, oh, like, how am I going to get to dance with you when you're playing? And it's like... Oh. Uh, you don't get you to. You don't get to. It's just not <laughs> happening for you. And it never will. Compliment my tone and we'll see. Yeah. If you, know? He, you know, maybe he'll see this video. The next person who wants to hang yeah. out with you be like, you know, that tone, magnificent. Magnificent.
What is like the fanciest lick that you know? This is just for the guitar nerds. The fanciest lick. Yeah, yeah. You can transpose that too, like I think you use it. Yeah, you got the hybrid thing going on. Yeah, That's I cool. get acrylic nails done. Acrylic That's, nails? I go to a nail salon, they only make me pay $10 and I get two acrylic nails done. Oh wow. <laughs> and so they're Custom. like, you want to feel it? They're guitar picks. Oh my god. Because <laughs> those are the ones, you got your pick in this. Yeah. Now a lot of, if you're starting out with hybrid picking, I know a lot of people are using thumb picks now and I wish I had learned with a thumb pick first. There's these picks they make that go around your thumb. Is your pick like bent? Oh yeah, I bent my picks. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It's comfortable. It fits perfectly. This is this is like the the maxi signature pick. Yeah, it should be. I'm gonna get a close up of that before we go. That's, is that, that is the funniest I've thing I've seen. I bend every seen. last one of them. I'm like, <laughs> Do you? So you pre bend it, or you just Kinda. it just turns out that it, way? It definitely turns out that way. But jeez, you have a freaking strong grip. Yeah. I've never done that to any of my picks. <laughs> I guess if you're going like this, maybe. Yeah, you got a real equilibrium in there. There you go. Oh! Yeah, you got it. I guess you kind of get well, moving could, with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this all the time now. It's fun, isn't it? I have a duo with Chris Karma, and we have a page uh, at Chris and Maxi on Instagram and TikTok. Um, but right now we're writing songs. We're co-writing with Brian Bonds from Florida Georgia Line and he's producing. So that's kind of the project I've got going on. There's like, there's little cults with the clubs downtown so everything's yeah. connected, but... What cult um, do you... What? Are you part of? I'm, I'm cult skipping right <laughs> you're, now. You're, you haven't been cult napped yet? I, no, I'm a part of a couple different cults. <laughs> <laughs> that explains everything. Yeah. <laughs> She's building cult instruments. It's and... been that. I'm, I'm not, I am my own cult. Yeah. <laughs> the telefiddle. The cult of telefiddle. Join us. Yeah. <laughs>